black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up? What is good with y'all? Back with another one today. Pretty quick, impromptu. Double meat BMT. You can see that grease of the meat coming right through the wrapper there. I'm very excited to get into it. The Subway Crave was super, super real today. I had to have it, had to hit it. And uh, I can't wait to get a bite going. Father Ranch came through in the clutch, brought his own bottle, as well as screw these terrible napkins. They're annoying. I got myself a proper wipe and rag, but I'm gonna bring you down, show you the uh, the up close and personal shot of it. Come on down. Yo, can I get an amen on that though? Sweet onion, double meat, BMT, all the fixings. Herb and cheese bread, toasted, everything. Look at that. Sandwich artist dreams. Oh, up close and personal. Greasy, hot, saucy, crunchy, amazing. Bam. All right, you guys, let's get into this. Look at that. Another quick little close up for you. And then we got to go. I just want to say one thing before I take a bite is I came into this video in a foul mood, right? I was going to bitch, I was going to rant, I was going to rave. And it had everything to do with YouTube. But I've decided I'm going to take the higher road and just enjoy this food and know my real life's truth, you know, on this side of the camera. And I also have to say that the girl inside, that actually both the workers inside, they just like brightened up my day big time. They were both very awesome and talkative and made a great sub for me. So thank you to them. I know who I am. And none of y'all weirdos on the internet can take that away from me. <laughs> but cheers to that first bite of this delicious double meat. Amazing, so. Mm. way better than my last subway video So yeah, the girl inside, she went the distance. She asked all the preferences. Asked if it was saucy enough, if I needed more sauce. I told her I'm a saucy guy. <laughs> load that thing up she agreed she was the same she, she searched through the tomato bin to find the non mushy soggy ones like the really fresh ones She actually gave a shit, which was very refreshing to see. Mm. I got sweet onion and Chipotle Southwest. And she put like two lines of the Chipotle in, and then she's like, you probably need more than that. And I was like, yeah, I do two more. <laughs> the 
the only way to get it is double meat. Finally at the point where I can actually <laughs> handle a ranch bite. Somebody uh, took some a decent amount of time out of their awesome life yesterday to write me a paragraph. <clears throat> Basically, trying to defame and decredit my character. and imply that I'm some sort of bullshit liar type thing. <laughs> Based off their perceived reality of me from the tiny percentage of information that I give you through this platform, they sat back and narrativized uh, my life from a predisposition towards me uh, of dislike and or hate probably mixed with a little envy and a little jealousy as well and that shit just pisses me off because my channel is all about just me being genuine and honest like I've admitted my lows you know <laughs> living in my sister's basement for a year my life falling apart getting sick I never lie there's no point to lie here and basically why it gets me so rattled or riled up is that I just really hate and people do this you know at work or in families and friendships it's low level low vibrational shit it's not cool it's not, not something to admire it's not some a way to be in this world <laughs> and that is To, uh, try to create a narrative on somebody's life when you don't know even 90% of their real life. It's presumptuous. It's not inaccurate. Like, it's a lot of things. That can piss you off. Especially when you're the person on the other side of the camera who knows the real story about your life. And when people do it to me, I just respond to them in a sideways manner. Because the thing is, if you come at me sideways, I'm going to come at you sideways. Put you in your place. give you a little talking to and then you get blocked and deleted the comic gets deleted your perception of my life doesn't get to live 
in a public forum on my channel that I control for other people to be influenced by. That's just not gonna happen, ever. So bye-bye comment. Futile waste of your time. And beyond that, I get to respond. You have to read it, and then you don't get to respond. I win. I just, I win. I win every time. So, that's what had me feeling a type of way. And I know it's, it's whatever. It's some random person on the internet that I really don't give a shit about. But, it's the principle, the idea. And that it happens in real life. In workplaces, even in family and friendships. People, for whatever reason, will try to slander you and throw dirt on your image. Because they feel some type of way towards you. And it's usually coming from a place of insecurity, envy, jealousy, or the fact that they're just not fulfilled in who they are as a person at all. And the only place that they find meaning in life is in drama and to stir the pot and to be an asshole. Which is not my vibe. That is the furthest thing from my vibe. Now, don't get me wrong. I could be an asshole. A calculated, really talented asshole. But only if I'm provoked. If you pull me into that world and you want that energy, you want the smoke, I'll give you the smoke. You don't want to weaponize me with words. I'm a fucking wordsmith. I'm a master of words. I know how to link thoughts and murder with words. Okay? You don't want it with me when it comes to this shit. You know, I'm not going to go out of my way, though, to be an asshole. Like I said, if you pull me into that world, I'm liable to pull out and pop off. Like, I will defend myself and cut you a new asshole while I'm doing it. Real shit. This video took the turn from the high road down to the, the real ass road. But this shit just is all my mental, it's all my energy, and it has to be expressed. Because why? Because once again, I'm not a liar. I'm genuine. I'm honest. I'm real. According to this person, though, that couldn't be possible. <laughs> but it's true.
Why is it gonna say stay true? Duh. There's nothing liable over here. Truth will set you free. You know? To wrap that though, just another big shout out to two girls inside working. Very, very nice. Great customer service. Did an amazing job making that sub. That sub was a 10 out of 10 fire. Amazing, hit my crave so hard. So I appreciate that, I appreciate them. I appreciate you for watching this video. And I extra appreciate you if you understand where I'm coming from, what I mean. And I also appreciate that if you're the type of person that doesn't engage in this stupidity, both online and in real life, it's unnecessary. So, keep being cool, keep being you. Stay positive. And until the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well, and stay true, <laughs> right? Peace.